Okay, so in this video, we are going to learn how to do a search on the um, FMLS and, and to set a client up on um, auto, auto drip. So we are going to start with FMLS and let me just share my screen here. Okay, all right, so you first will go to fmls.com right here and then you log in. And then you go to matrix. Okay, and then search. So right here, first, you should look at this residential detach or residential attach meaning a single home, which is detached or um, attached, meaning townhouses, condos. Um, in my case right now, I am looking for um, a home that is a single home for my client. Okay, so I'm going to make sure that it's clicked right here. Then you want to make sure that um, active is clicked, meaning that you only want to see homes that are available right now. And you can also click on come in soon. Sometimes agent will um, have a listing that is going to be available in you know, a week. They will have a come in soon listing. So we want to you know, be aware of that as soon as that is available. Make sure everything else is unclicked because you don't want to look at the pending, the one that are withdrawn, expire, closed, active under contract. Those usually are unavailable to us. Um, so we want to just um, leave those open for now, okay? So we're gonna go over to this side and we're going to look at the price. What is your client's budget? Let's say, my client's budget is 250 to 415,000. Make sure you click this so that way you don't have to insert the extra zeros. If you unclick that, then make sure you're doing this. But why would you do that if you don't have to? So just click that 250 to 415, okay? Total bedrooms, how many bedrooms would they like? You can do, if they want exactly five bedrooms, you can do five, or if they want four and above, you can do four plus, like that, okay? If they want two, at least a minimum of two full baths, and you can do two plus. Um, of course, you can leave that blank if, um, you don't have to fill that in if you don't want to. Square footage, some people prefer a certain amount of square footage. Um, I have clients that say they only want homes that are 3,000 um, square feet and above. Um, I have clients that says, I don't want anything more than 4,000. So you can do 4,000 minus, meaning 4,000 and under. Or if they want at least 2,000, you can do 2,000 plus like that or you can leave it blank, okay? Acres, uh, I have clients in the past that want a huge lot. Um, so she said that she wants something with at least an acre. So I would put one plus. But in this case, um, my client does not care. So I'm going to leave that blank. You have built. Now, you know, sometimes we have clients that says, I don't want anything older than 10 years old. So what you would do is you would go 2011 plus, meaning homes that are built from 2011 to 2021. Um, you know, sometimes we have clients that says, I only want homes from 2000 and above. And you add that. Or if you want something new construction, then I would say maybe 2019 plus or 2020 plus or 2021. Um, my case, my client wants something five years and older, so I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a range of 2015 plus. Okay. Lakes, don't worry about this. You don't have to. You know, we don't have many lakes here, and not a lot of people 
care for that. Um, now you go over here, if your clients are only wanting Gwinnett County, so you would put in Gwinnett, and they only want Fulton County, put in Fulton. Or alternatively, you can put the city. If the client wants Johns Creek, then you'd put Johns Creek or Alpharetta. You put Alpharetta, semicolon Alpharetta. Or um, Duluth, put in Duluth, just like that, you know, and you can keep going as many city as you like. Now, I have clients in the past that only want a certain um, school. Um, for example, they only want Simpson Elementary, so you can put Simpson Elementary right there, okay? Uh, in my case, my clients are looking to buy only in these cities, Peachtree Corners, Duluth, Norcross, uh-oh, Norcross, and Browns Creek. Alfreda. Okay. And then you go down here. Bedroom on main. Um, how many bedrooms on the main floor does your client want? Sometimes they prefer to have a bedroom on the main floor. You can do, you can click here, master on main if you like. But I find that um, because the MLS is so agent driven that sometimes the agent will not put master on main. So that, in, that would create um, those listing to fall off your search and not be available on your search. So I would, a better way is to put one plus um, at least one bedroom on the main floor and then um, just Tell your clients that, hey, some of these are master on the main and some of these are just guest room on the main. So we have to look at the listing carefully before we go show them. A basement, some people like to have a basement on the main floor. So I'm not sorry, on um, in the house. So you can do finished basement, full basement, uh, partial basement, unfinished basement, or if you want to just have a house with any kind of basement, I would click not none, meaning that it has to have some type of basement, right? But in my case, my client doesn't care. So um, I'm going to unclick that. That is my search. Um, unfortunately, only two homes <laughs> came up inventory is super low right now so only two homes came up and you did you see what i did i want to i click on results right here you can also click on results up here to see the results so only two homes came up um in a no cross for that will fit into my criteria now I can go back and tell the client, hey, you know what, we need to adjust a little bit because, you know, we don't, we don't have a lot of options. So we may change this to 2010 plus. And that still would give us only two homes, unfortunately. Super low inventory right now. Let's see, 2000 plus will give us five homes. Well, there you go, a little bit more. <laughs> but um, yeah, so from here, you're going to see the five homes that are available. And then um, if you want to email this to the client, you can check everything right here. If you only want to send the ones that are in, are in Duluth, then just check the ones that are in Duluth, you see? Um, and in my case, I want to send them everything. So you can go to email and then type in their email address. I'm going to use Tim for this, tim at pointhonors.com. And uh, the subject can be homes to consider and email. Hello, Tim. Please take a look. Um, OK. And then send, right? But in my case, my client wants 
to, I want to put this client on a drip campaign, meaning that every time a home that fit this criteria comes up, um, I want them to see it um, right away. So what I will do is you don't have to check all that. You can go to save and a new auto email right here. And then I'm going to, you know, you can use a contact that you already created or you can create a new one. In this case, I'm gonna use Tim again. Oops, Tim, her, pretending Tim is my client at pointhonors.com. And you can change this to, hi, Tim, hello, Tim, dear Tim, or you can do a customized one. It says, hey, Tim, and then save, okay. Um, you can carbon copy. Um, for example, if you are to send this and you want me and Tim to know that our clients is, is on drip and you want us to be involved in the loop, you can put um, Helen at pointhonors.com or, you know, um, I don't know, Kenny at pointhonors.com, whoever. Um, and then here, blank copy yourself if you like. If you like to receive the same email that the client is uh, receiving, then blank copy yourself. But be careful, if you do this, you're going to get a lot of emails. So um, it's up to you whether you want to or not. I prefer not, but um, it's your personal preference. So um, subject line, homes to consider or investment property, whatnot. This is an, um, an email template that will explain the portal to the client. You can use this template if you like, or you can erase it all and write your own. So check these out, you know, check, check these homes out, Helen. Um, okay, so this would be the first email that comes to the client. Now the recurring email message you can, again, they already have a template for us, but you can change it if you like, especially for our team members who um, are working with clients that do not speak Vietnamese, do not, or I'm sorry, do not speak English. And you need to, to, to uh, send an email to them in Vietnamese or Korean or you know, whatever, um, you can change that here and uh, customize it, okay? And then you go down here, make sure you can edit your, your signature um, to always include your email and um, phone number so they know to contact you. And then down here, you can do, you can schedule it as soon as possible, meaning that instantly, as soon as a listing comes up, they get an email or daily. I prefer daily because if you do as soon as possible, um, they're gonna get about 15 emails from you a day if your criteria is very wide. So um, you don't want to overwhelm them with all these emails. Um, so you, I prefer to do it daily, just every email. And you can choose to do it all in the morning or all in the afternoon. In the morning, I think it comes around 6 a.m. Um, and then you can change it too. For example, on Sunday, you want to send it on in the morning, but on Monday, you want to send it in the evening. You can do that. On Tuesday, you want to send both evening and morning, you can do that. So it's all up to you and um, how your clients prefer to receive their emails. If they say that, hey, they're, they are our early riser, they prefer to get emails in the morning, then send it to them in the morning. And then you go to save right here. And that will um, generate the, the email for Tim, right? Let's go ahead and do it. Save, okay. And you receive this message saying that the auto email has been set up. To make sure that the auto email has been set up, we will go here. And then these are all the drip campaigns that I have right now. And we can go down to Tim Her right here. And you see um, it is set up. He has not opened it yet because we just sent it. And then you can go back later on and you can go to setting. 
to change your credit or change your email message, change your um, how you want to send it to them. Or you can go back here and you can change the criteria. For example, if Tim goes back to us and say that he doesn't want any home in Alpharetta and we can go back and we can remove Alpharetta and he wants to increase his budget to 450 and we can change it that way and make sure to always save right there. Okay. Um, and that is basically how you do a, um, a search on, on FMLS. Okay, and I think that is it. Let me know, let Tim know if you have any question. And um, yeah, just text us. Have a good day.